Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, in today's video, I want to show you guys an amazing transformation that I recently did for a graduation party. Now, you guys know when I first started out on my channel, I've really focused in on budget-friendly events and home decor that was budget-friendly. And as time progressed, so did my gifts, so did my talent, and so did my, you know, my actual clientele base changed. However, you know, from time to time, I love to go back and revisit my roots to share with you guys how to create these beautiful you know, celebrations, whether it's for graduation or wedding or birthday party or what have you, I still want to share with you guys tips and tricks on how to curate these beautiful celebrations on a conscious budget. And so in today's video, I want to share with you guys the uh, recent graduation party that I hosted for my niece in Atlanta, Georgia. My brother lives right on the outskirts of Atlanta, and when we started looking for venues several months ago, everything was booked. All of the rental uh, locations were also um, you know, booked in terms of renting out tables and chairs, and so we were forced to use what we had within our hands. And so we started, to, we started out using uh, just a blank slate. Now, I told you guys before that I just don't like doing outdoor parties for several reasons. Number one, the weather is unpredictable. Number two, you just never know what's going to happen. Um, number three, uh, I've just not really had a really good experience with outdoor parties. And it's also Im impossible to set them up in advance. And so I knew that we could not use their outdoor area for those reasons. And so we started to look at other spaces in their home. Now, once we started looking at other spaces in home, we quickly realized that there was not really a space that was large enough to hold the number of guests that they were expecting. And so we decided on the garage. And so I want to start out by sharing with you guys the before of the garage, and then we'll get into the after. So here is what the garage looked like before. Please overlook it. It is um, currently under construction, but the size of it is, the length of it is 24 feet, and then the width of it is 20 feet, which is around 480 square feet. And the average garage is in between 360 to 400 square feet. So they do have about an extra 100 to 120 square feet in their garage area but if this is you know if you fall between that 360 and 400 my recommendation would be to use fewer tables and chairs now that you have seen the before of the garage i want to mention that all of the decor that you actually see in today's video i actually loaded all of this in my escalate and i did get a clip for you guys so that you could see that you, you know, once you buy or invest in decor that is easy to break down in store, then you will find it a lot easier to be able to transport it in your existing vehicle. Now, let me just be completely transparent here and say that my brother uh, did purchase all of the tables and chairs. He wanted to enter into a rental business anyway, and so he was able to purchase tables and chairs um, for this graduation party, knowing that he would start a rental business renting table chairs and tents for uh, celebrations such as this. And there's definitely a market for it in his area. Um, my niece's graduating class was like 480 people. I think that particular day, that county graduated over 2,500 students just in that county. So you can see why everything was already rented out, sold out, booked up, or it was an astronomical price. And so with that being said, we um, went ahead and he went ahead and made that investment because that was something he wanted to do anyway. And so if this is something that interests you and you have a niche or a market or a demand for it in your in your particular market, then I will say go for it. I will actually link the tables that he purchased from Walmart. They're actually on sale right now. Um, and so he, you're, you're able to get you know, six of these six foot tables for less than $200, which is an excellent deal. Okay. A couple of rentals and they'll be paid for. So I'll link the tables and chairs down in the description box below. You guys be sure to check it out. So outside of the table and chairs, he did not provide anything else. Everything else I actually loaded up, packed in my Escalade, my SUV and journeyed to Georgia with it. 
Now, I could have easily rented a U-Haul um, for the weekend, but I just didn't want to incur that cost with the mileage on a U-Haul. And I was also attending my class reunion, um, my 25th class reunion as well. And so I did not want to drive a U-Haul, obviously, to my 25th class reunion. And so I decided that whatever decor I was going to use, I was going to have to be able to pack it in our truck and so when i started to think about the design i also knew that i had decor that was going to be rented out back home so i was very limited to the piping drape poles that i had and so i used um 12 drapes to drape this garage space and then in between the areas that we actually draped I use these beautiful sequin shimmer panels from House of Party. I will leave that link down below. And I also use this gorgeous backdrop that I got on a deal at Amazon. And I will link that below as well. And so that is the key. You know, when you're thinking about, you know, having an event in your garage, the first thing you want to do if your garage is not painted a beautiful white or it's just not, you know, if you have you may be one of those individuals that have a beautiful garage, then you won't have to worry about this. But if you're not, then the first thing you want to do is drape that entire area and infuse different textures and backdrops along the way, along the way to bring interest to the area to distract from the fact that it's actually a garage. And so that is the first step. The second step after you do the draping, of course, you want to add the tables and chairs. If this is something that you can't afford, definitely, you know, consider renting them from a local rental company. A lot of times you can rent plain white chairs for a dollar and you can rent tables for eight to ten dollars. So definitely something that is affordable. And if you can't afford to purchase a draping, you can also look at renting it as well. Those sets normally rent about $40 per 10 foot section. For this one, we use four 10 feet sections and I use 12 panels to create this look along with some backdrops. So the first thing is to, of course, drape the space. If you still are on a very strict budget and you can't rent it, use sheets and fishing wire or a clothing line use the dollar plastic tablecloths there are so many different things that you can use in order to get that space draped off the way that you need it to be draped off so once you have your draping in place and your backdrops in place also look at you know getting other cheaper backdrops to put in areas that you may not have the room to cover like in front of the food table um you know in front of the dessert table you may want to get backdrops that cost maybe 10 or 11 dollars to drape those areas as well and then finally you want to add in your tables and chairs they're going to take up the most of your space and design your room in a way that your eyes don't go to the garage floor. Now, if you had the time and the resources, you could definitely use epoxy on your garage floor. You can also, you know, wrap your garage floor if you had that budget. But again, we're talking about a budget conscious celebration. So you want to design your tables and things like that in a way that will draw your eyes away from the actual garage floor. And so now that I've given you guys these pointers, I'm going to show you the after and you let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And I almost forgot tip number five, and that is to add your signature. I have been loving um, doing customized, you know, table napkins and adding them to every event. And so I definitely had to add this in for my niece's graduation celebration. I use my Cricut. Uh, heat press to do this and I'm telling you guys it turned out absolutely amazing so I can't wait to share with you guys what it looked like at the party okay you guys so here's a reminder of what the garage looked like before and here is what the garage looked like after yes this is the same space
Okay, you guys, so I know that you have loads of questions now that you've seen the before and after. Quite a drastic change, if I must say so myself. And so I took the opportunity to write down a lot of the common questions that I got after I shared this setup on my Amazon Live. If you guys would like to see that entire live, then I'm going to link that below as well so that you can check it out. But for now, I'm going to answer all of the questions that I have been getting um, through that live and from individuals that have previously uh, seen this work, this body of work. So the first question is, what size is the garage? I answered that earlier in the video, but if you could not wait and you skipped it, it was actually 480 square feet, I believe. And um, yes, it was 480 square feet. The typical garage ranges from 360 to 400 square feet. So we had about an extra 100 to 120 square feet to work with. Um, how long did the setup take? It actually took us uh, about four hours to completely set up this event. Um, I did not bring my regular team with me, and so I used all of my family members, which is probably another question that you guys may ask. Did you bring in someone to do balloons or draping? No, just me and my family, and they are not trained event professionals. Uh, it was my big brother and, <laughs> you know, my sister-in-law, my sister, my niece, my nephew, the dog, any willing hand that we had available, they assisted with the setup. How many sections of drape did you use? We used four um, 10 foot sections and then we used our uh, crossbar to extend those four complete sections that we had. I also zip tied some um, crossbars to the actual garage mechanics. And if you want to see my Amazon live, you can just see the whole thing set up so that you can see what I mean by that, how we use uh, uh, crossbars to um, extend the draping around the complete garage. Another question that I get is, you know, how much would this cost? And definitely the cost would vary um, if you decided to use real tablecloths versus plastic tablecloths versus sequence tablecloths. So the reason I wanted to show this video to you guys is that I just wanted to share the steps with you and then you can kind of determine what your cost is going to be due to your own budget. So that's why I wanted to kind of share it in this way so that you wouldn't feel, you know, locked in to a certain cost. How tall were the ceilings? The ceilings were about eight and a half to nine feet tall. I did not raise the uh, um, draping because I did not want to interrupt with the structures that were already in the garage and the shimmer wall that I did was only an eight by eight and so I didn't want to make the shimmer wall shorter than everything else. So that's why I didn't raise the draping around the room. We set up for about 32 guests and we had um, six guest tables, 32 chairs, uh, two food tables and one gift table in the entire room. What are some alternatives for renting or buying tables and chairs? Try borrowing them from your local church or community center or any friend or family member that may have tables and chairs in their inventory. How much experience do I need for something like this? Uh, you don't really need a lot of experience. You can just watch my YouTube videos and emulate what you see me do. Again, my family members are not trained professionals. I did not use my regular team to do this. And so this is what our turnout was like without having them in place. And so the key to success here is really training and patience and organization. I mean, you can really do it without a whole, whole lot of experience. And then finally, where can I find some of these items? I will link it down in the description box below. You can find them in the pinned comments or in the description box. But most of these items can be found on Amazon or by using any of the links that I list down below. So be sure to visit the description box and the pinned comments. I also want to give a huge shout out to my girl Rachel. You guys, she did an incredible job as always with the desserts. She customized um, our desserts to the theme of the party, which was the, you know, navy blue and gold theme and so i absolutely love the way that it turned out you guys i am just so blessed to have her um to be my friend and a part of my team and 
she just knocks it out of the park every single time. I give her one idea and she takes it to the max. So everything was customized. Y'all know I love to make things custom. You know, I love to just add that special touch. It really takes your party or your event to the next level. And you can definitely customize treats yourself by buying maybe a cake from Sam's and buying cupcakes from Sam's and getting somebody on Etsy or reaching out to Rachel or someone local to add like cupcake toppers and things like that to your event to make it a little bit more affordable so definitely check those out as well and i think rachel does ship cupcake toppers and things of that nature i'll put her information down below if you all would like to reach out to her and then finally i wanted to share a bonus tip on the backdrop from um, amazon a lot of times these backdrops are like seven feet wide but they're you know five feet tall so they end up being a little short they're great for using in front of a dessert table or something of that nature but if you are on a conscious budget you may want to do this little tip to extend your backdrop i don't know if you guys remember the plastic table skirts but if you cut them in half they fit perfectly across the bottom of the plastic backdrop and what it does is extend that backdrop for you so that you can use it for taking photos and things of that nature so that is your bonus tip of the day well, that concludes today's video. I hope that the tips, tricks, and ideas that I shared with you all, that you found something helpful that will help you or aid you um, in doing any sort of celebration, whether it's a bridal shower, a family get together, Thanksgiving, uh, graduation, weddings, you know, whatever it is that you want to celebrate in your garage, you can definitely do it by implementing the tips that I shared in today's video. If you guys would like to shop all the items that I shared, I will leave the link to the Amazon Live that I did uh, recently. I actually did it live in that space. You can see the totality of the garage. I will link, link that video down below as well. If you enjoyed this content, I would love to invite you to subscribe to be a member of the Lux for Less family. All you have to do is click on that big red subscribe button and you are a part of the family just like that. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers.